Good morning, everyone. Uh, sorry I missed yesterday. Um, morning just kind of got away from me. Um, so I'm sitting here in the parking lot, uh, ready to go to work. And I was going to just uh, give you guys the daily uh, garage devotional, which has turned into a car devotional. I'm um, going to get back to the garage um, probably starting next week. If the kids go back to school, my schedule is going to change a little bit. So the timing of the videos coming out could very well change um, starting next week because we just have more stuff to do in the mornings. And it's just going to be a little tougher to get everything done uh, in the morning. So if you guys will just bear with me, I uh, certainly appreciate it. Um, thank you for watching. Obviously, views are very important um, because the more people that watch, the more people get to see it. Of course, like, share, and subscribe, all that kind of jazz so that more people can see this um, because hopefully I'm bringing um, something that's encouraging to you guys uh, every day, or most days, not yesterday, obviously. Um, but hopefully that's something that you guys are enjoying and will continue to tune into. So we're going to take a look at 1 John uh, chapter 1, starting in verse 4 today. So 4 through 9. But let's talk about, um, have you ever woke up in the middle of the night, you had to go pee, you need to drink water, super hungry, needed a snack, and as you're making your way to that destination, you catch your pinky toe on your dresser, your nightstand, something like that, the edge of the bed, door frame, and man, does that ever hurt. Uh, that pain just stabs through your whole leg all the way up into your hip, and all those bad words want to come running out, and uh, sometimes we let them out, sometimes we don't. Um, but it's just this excruciating pain. Um, so that, my friends, is uh, that pain, that uh, discomfort is kind of the, not kind of, it is the consequences of walking in darkness. There's always pain. There's always that potential for pain at the very least. Um, and... John tells us in this passage, and I'm going to go ahead and read it. John chapter 4, uh, or chap 1 John 1, starting in verse 4. It's early. Bear with me. And we who are, are writing these things so that our joy may be complete. This is the message that we have heard from him and proclaimed to you that God is light, and in him is no darkness at all. If we say we have fellowship with him while we walk in the darkness, we lie and do not practice the truth. But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus, his Son, cleanses us from all sin. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins, and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say we have not sinned, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. So, guys, when we're when we're when we're talking about being in a relationship with Christ, when we're talking about um, being in fellowship with Christ, um, that is where the light of our lives come from. Now, obviously, um, the darkness of your bedroom, middle of the night, is kind of a, a picture of what your life looks like whenever you live it without that relationship, without that fellowship with Jesus. So, when you're going through life and you don't know Christ... Or maybe you know who he is, but you haven't really trusted him. Or uh, maybe you know who he is, and you've trusted him, and you've decided your way is better, which is, which happens. I did it. Um, so I'm certain that I'm not the only one. Um, when you're going through life, and you're not in fellowship with Christ, when you're not in fellowship with him, and getting to know him, and talking to him, and being in that relationship with him... Um, the days get darker and darker, spiritually, obviously. Um, and as you're going through your day, spiritually, there's more pitfalls that come up. There's more things that draw your attention away from Him. And that sin, that slippery slippery slope of sin, um, can get really out of control, especially whenever you're not intentionally trying to 
um, fellowship with Christ, when you're just kind of going through your day. you got to take that time, morning, noon, night, whatever, um, to know Him. Um, the light of our lives is Christ. And the only way to know Him is by reading His Word and talking to Him uh, through prayer. And uh, I, for a very long time, didn't do a very good job of prayer. Um, I, I fall into that trap of using Jesus as a slot machine. Hey, these are the things that are going in, on in my life. I want you to fix them. Make it better. But never listening. Uh, never slowing down and allowing God to speak into me the things that I need to know. The things that I need to do to maintain that fellowship. So, um, our sins separate us from Him in that fellowship. And only by repenting, turning away from our sin, and confessing our sin to Him can we maintain or get back into that fellowship. So guys, as you go through your day to day, when you feel that tug of sin to, to do something you know you're not supposed to, or uh, say some things you're not supposed to, or gossip, or tell a little white lie, or whatever it is, um, use that opportunity to just talk to God. Slow down. Uh, meditate on His Word. Read a quick passage. Um, watch a quick video. Um, something like that. Um, I recommend it. It'll keep you on the right path. It'll keep you in the light. And um, it's the, all of us who have stubbed our toe in the middle of the night, we know how uncomfortable that is. And staying in the light certainly helps us from doing that. So guys, um, as I said earlier, like, share, and subscribe. Keep watching. Um, your encouragement keeps me going. So I love you, and I'll see you in the morning.